You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benyon Rowe and Lee Robertson. <laughs> but I said I've not been on a register since I was at school. Ooh. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. So, Lee, what have you got in store for us this week on the showbiz? On showbiz, I have some news about a celebrity dating app mm -hmm. where they can get a bit of peen. Oh. And, oh, vagina. Oh, peen or vagine. Vagine. Um, and the latest news on a musical that is becoming a film. Ooh. On screen now, you can see all the ways of getting hold of us. It's at The Could TV on social media, where you can follow us. The Could.TV for our website and on YouTube or podcast services, look for Chewing the Cud and hit subscribe. And as the names of people who have commented, liked or shared any of our posts slide along the bottom of the screen, it's time to go over to Mike and the Buzz. Have you ever had a surprise when you've been eating? Occasionally. That's what. Um, like if you're eating something that says it's it's bone free, boneless, mm -hmm. and there is a bone in there, okay, I'm not I'm not happy with the bone. You don't have with it. <laughs> well, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> I do quite enjoy it though. I I've yeah. heard. I've, I'm quite happily chewing on the marrow for a while. Mm. But this is a story about a woman who opened a bag of Aldi crisps. Okay. Right to find a whole soggy potato instead Ooh. of a bag of crisps. The lucky lucky woman. Well, not lucky because it's a. Potato. It's not. No, if you see, right, if it was if it was a whole cooked No it wasn't. Oh. Then no. No, because <laughs> what's happened is there's been an issue in the factory where they they chop they slice them. Somebody has missed the point of putting crisps in a packet. They have to like <laughs> chop them, fry you, you them. You know it's not a them. person that's doing it. Well there it's must not... be a person overseeing it. It's a machine though. It's not like one person chopping and then frying it. Yeah, well, yeah, but you would I imagine there's somebody sat there going, it's a potato. <laughs> yeah, they've uh, potato on the not my job to remove it though, is it? I just <laughs> watch out for potatoes. There's one. Yeah. So L Leah from Huddersfield. Hey. Okay. Leah from Huddersfield. Oh right, I think I said are oh, you from Huddersfield? And I was like, what? No, Leah. Okay, from Huddersfield. From Huddersfield. Mm -hmm. Yes. Opened up her, her bag of crisps. Right, reached in found inside and found a cold, wet ball. She freaked out and then realised it was a potato. I don't believe that she opened a packet of crisps and didn't look inside them first because everybody looks inside a packet of crisps so because you open them and you go, well, there's not many in there. And then, so I don't believe she just opened a packet of crisps and put a hand in. What, well, what she said made it worse than finding a whole potato in a bag of crisps. What did she say? Was her, her boyfriend was eating a bag of crisps next to it and it didn't happen to him. So, oh, right. So she expected them to have potato, yeah. potatoes in both bags. Yeah. Okay. And, and what was the outcome of this? Um, her boyfriend laughed at her and she, and got she a hit him in the head with a potato. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, and she went and got another bag of crisps because of the multi pack. And sold the story to the news. Yeah, and made some money. <laughs> so, can't be that traumatised. <laughs> well, how, did, how did Aldi repeat? Did they say, suck it up and get on with it? Have you ever found anything unusual in food? Someone else's hand. Oh. Yeah. Severed? Well, it was about to be, I was at a cinema and someone reached over to my popcorn and I'm like, oh, get that. Oh, oh. Not playing that game. Um, but moving on, you have a garden. I do. And you like to have objet d'art in there. I do. Yes. More so than plants. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably say plants. Fake ones. I was going to say. <laughs> um, have you got any statues? I do. I have a number of statues. What are they? Like, like figurines or the shapes Fig of... Figurines. Let's go with figurines. Let's go with figurines. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just a couple of Barbies you put in concrete? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have, I have, I have, um, I have things. I can't remember them now. Stop questioning me, Mike. <laughs> Stop putting me under the pressure. <laughs> This is pressure. Um, well, this is from a story about a, a man who had art, well, garden sculptures stolen. Stolen. Stolen from his property. Yeah. So it's a story about three giant penises have been stolen from a shop. Okay. Were, were they actual penis statues? They were actual statues of penises. They're penises? Yeah, yeah. Where can not, one... not, not small ones, but huge oh, ones. Oh, where can one find them? Oh, uh, there. There. Um, so here we have a use of some of these these giant penises. So it's bollards. So literally bollards. <laughs> so someone has stolen them and turned them into bollards. No, no, he sold some of those bollards. Oh, he had three left. So what? Can we just can we just just acknowledge the irony of 
penis ballard shop that says beavers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> um, and it's, they're all queuing up. <laughs> Yes, <laughs> queuing up for Beaver. Yes. Um, well, Jason Hadlow, 58, who's the owner of the Simply Dutch um, shop, basically had these a selection of these penises in his shop window and they rose to notoriety because people are going at obscene, you have to take them away. And he's he sold a lot of them but kept three for himself. Oh, right, I Not know. for sale, just memories. Just for his own memories. pleasure. But he's, he's come along one day and someone's pulled them off. Yank them off. Yank them away. From his, from his very garden? From his very garden. His front garden or his back garden? Back garden. Back garden. Oh. Mm -hmm. So they've had to go up his back passage to get his giant penises. Goodness gracious me. Will he, ever, will he ever be the same again, Mike? Probably not. Probably not. Could he just not make some more? Well, he didn't make them. Oh. He's not got like a modelling clay out. Like, oh. <laughs> Pat that round me, old fella. They look like they're made out of concrete. Yeah, they, were, they were made out of stone. Okay, so do you... Different he... variations of stone, because he got them from Indonesia. Okay. Where apparently they've got massive penises. <laughs> Loads of just penis statues everywhere you go, tripping up over them every street that you go on. Yeah, so apparently. You're Indonesia's... going there for your holiday. Aren't I you? am now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> but I'm too... What's in your suitcase? It's so heavy. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> suitcase. So why are you walking slightly strange? <laughs> <laughs> got three giant penises. <laughs> Three giant stone penises up my ass. Feels about a person is actually what I was going to say, but yeah, <laughs> up my ass works too. Um, and if you want to interact with us on social media, it's at the Cud TV. Our website is the TV, and on YouTube we are still under Chewing the Cud. And now we go to story of the week. This is a food-related item, Lee. Okay. You like these? I don't. We've but... not done these for a little while. No. I gave you to me a rest. Mm. Okay. So in the clush. Okay. We have, oh, Jaffa cakes, Jaffa and, cakes biscuits. and chocolate digestive biscuits. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now these are both made by Mugavitis. Mm -hmm. Okay. How would you eat these? With my mouth. Show me how you would eat, say a Jaffa cake. A Jaffa cake? Yeah. They've got dog food in them. It's still got dog food. It's not got dog food in them. Well, my preferred way uh -huh. of eating a Jaffa cake is I like to... No, 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 no. Why not? That's not the way you eat a Jaffa cake. You just asked me why you, I, how I ate it, that's you're how I eating eat it. You're eating it wrong. Well, that's how I eat them. Well, it's wrong. Try a biscuit. How would you eat a biscuit? No, it's wrong. You're holding them upside down. I'm holding them the way I hold them. No, you're holding them upside down. This is news that um, McVitie's have confirmed that a Jaffa cake is that way up. The chocolate is on the bottom, not the top. Mm. Mm -hmm. and <laughs> why, why are you not shocked by this? You just you want to what? eat the Jaffa cake, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, looking at you going, I just want to eat the Jaffa cake, mate. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, there's wars going on in the world. There's a, there's a pandemic ravaging the globe. Yeah. And McVitie's are going, no, 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 biscuits, no, no, eat them like this. This is a cake, not a biscuit. Do you know what I'll do? So you ate it the right way around. Well done. Mm, 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 mm. That's how I eat them. Yeah. So the reason why they've said that the, the chocolate is on the bottom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, is because they drag the Jaffa cake through the, top, through the chocolate in a chocolate bath. Okay. I'll just wait for you to finish chewing. You underestimated how much Jaffa cake you put in your mouth, <laughs> hadn't you? No, I was childishly waiting until it came back onto the screen and then I was going to go... Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it took too long, Mike. Yeah, it did. <laughs> I could see your plan being formed by yourself. <laughs> by your own hubris. So, McVitie's actually um, got a, a DM. Someone slid into their DM. Right, to ask the age-old question, what side of a Jaffa cake is the bottom? And they said, I'd... Jaffa cakes go through a reservoir of chocolate, so the chocolate is on the bottom. Thanks. And David said, WTF, dude. <laughs> well, I think that's wrapped that up for now. <laughs> really, um, no, they, they are wrong because <laughs> okay. if you're eating a Jaffa cake, you don't want the chocolate to melt in your fingers. You don't hold them like that because that means that all your thumbs and things will get chocolatey. 
But then you don't hold them like that either. You hold them like that? Yeah, so if you're holding them like that... You don't get chocolatey. You don't... Do... No, it's just stupid. <laughs> Why is that? I've done the exact same... So all I've done there is I've taken that. No, because the chocolate belongs on top. No, it doesn't. It's at the bottom. It's confirmed it. <sighs> Whatever. No. I'm and it's not... It. They, they birthed these beauties. Oh, well, I think from they're their, stupid. From their cakey womb. From their cakey womb. Cakey womb. I have a cakey womb. Yeah, well, well, we're not going to go into got, that now. We've got more stories about that. <laughs> um, but on that bombshell, that's the end of the buzz this week. <laughs> Thank you for that, Mike. Me and my cakey womb applaud you. I'm going to say a pleasure as always, but I don't get that out of my mind. But we've got Lee in the showbiz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Lee and Mike. Now let's brace ourselves for his cakey womb. It's Lee and the showbiz news. You need to stop thinking about my cakey womb. Just let it go. I, I want to. I can't. It's there. Cakey womb. So, we have some news about Harry Styles. Hi. Harry Styles are here, you say? We only had some news about him last show and the show before and the show before that, but we've got even more Harry Styles news. Did we? Yeah, probably. <laughs> we always do. Is that uh, just you thinking about Harry Styles a lot? I don't find Harry Styles attractive. I didn't say I'm sure he is. I didn't say you were bashing one out. I said, do you just think about him a lot? No. No? No. But we've got him for the showbiz, so I'll think about him for like 10 seconds. Okay. So, he has been um, recently on the cover of Dazed and Confused magazine. And he's announced that he's got a new project. So we've got a, we've got a picture of, mm -hmm. of the cover of Dazed and Confused magazine. He's got a nip out. He's got his nip nips out. And he's wearing a pantaloon on, on, top, of a, on top of a motorcycle. Um, yeah. So he, what he's saying is, is that he is bringing out um, a range of products mm -hmm. called Pleasing. Mm -hmm. mm. um, so it's, it's makeup. Okay. Not just for the ladies, for the gentlemen, for whoever. Okay. Okay. One of the first things that are going to be launched. Noob. <laughs> no, it's a dual-ended lip serum. Well, dual Read into ended. that what wow. you want. And it's infused with okra, marshmallow and lingonberry. That's a weird combination. Isn't it? It's a delicious sounding concoction that I'm told helps with tired eyes. That's him saying. I'm not saying that. That's what sorry, he's saying. Sorry, lip balm? Yeah. It's, it's, help a, it's a dual-ended eye and lip serum. Right, okay. Dual-ended, double-ended. So one bit <laughs> under your eyes, next bit <laughs> on your lips. What if you get it the wrong way around? I don't know. Will it stop your Tiny lips? eyes and massive lips. Will it stop, <laughs> will it stop your, your lips being puffy? And your, I don't your, know. Yeah. I don't know. So he said, <laughs> so he said that it was... He didn't want it to just be about nail polish, because that's what it was. It was kind of going to be a range of, na like, of Harry yeah. Styles nail polish. Who wants just nail polish Who wants just when nail you can polish have nowadays? a blended um, lip serum? It, 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 kind of, it kind of, he's saying, it saw me seeing a colour and a flower or a wallpaper or something and thinking, ooh, I want to put that on my nails. He doesn't talk like that. I'm just kind of saying that's how he talks. Um, but during the pandemic, he had time to think about it and he was like, do you know what? There's so much more I can do, f apart from nail varnish. Var var Nail varnish. So much more he can do than nail varnish. We've got some pictures of, of his outfits from the um, photo shoot for Days and Confused okay. magazine, which I, I have to say, he is a little bit of a style guru, pour moi. Here he's kind of sort of like a goth clown. Ooh. Yeah, so top hat, gloves. We've got another picture of him um, wearing a, d a completely different outfit. Um, Okay. Oh, what do we say that is? Looks a bit like a cloud. What he's kind of saying is, is that his company, he's very um, conscious of it being environmentally friendly, low carbon. Mm -hmm. um, he wants to kind of like protect the world as well as sell shit loads of makeup <laughs> and make himself a millionaire. So, so he's 27. I thought, I thought, is that old? I thought they were much older than that. I thought they were in their 30s, One Direction, but... They're not far from 27. Well, you know, yeah. So, yeah, he's saying that he's he's really pleased that he has fans that are accepting what he's doing, what he's producing. I mean, it's not going to harm his bank balance. No, no. No. But, you know, good for him for living his best life. Will you be purchasing a, one no. of his double enders? No? No. Okay. No. My double ender's called Samson. 
So on to, now this might be up your street, what with you being a celebrity as well. So how do you wonder what, if how celebrities date? What do they do? They can't go on the regular dating sites. Did they not just like hang out of a, a hotel window and wait for someone to go, I'm attractive and go coming in? Oh no, not really. So Alison Hammond. Ooh, or what? hang a bottle of wine out your bedroom window and wait for someone to go past and go, oh look, bottle of wine, like fish. Is that not like kidnapping? No, because you're just luring them in. Okay. You don't kidnap fish, do you go fishing? Mm-hmm. Strange, okay. So Alison Hammond, who is one of our favourites, here. She has been, she's launched, well, she's launched a book, her kind of like autobiography. Um, <laughs> launched a book. Launched a book at Philip Schofield's head. <laughs> she, no, she didn't. It's called You've Got to Laugh. We've got a picture of it here. It's all about her life. Because um, she started off as, as big, on Big Brother in 2002. She, mm -hmm. she was on it for very long before she got voted off. I remember she was jumping on the table and it broke in, mm -hmm. the, in the garden. Uh, was she on the, was she, what year was she on with? Who was she on with? 2002. But he was was it was that the Jay Goody year or not? I can't remember. I'm not sure. So yeah, so she was she's on that and she's gone to do I'm a Celebrity. Um, she's doing This Morning since 2003. So she's been doing that. She does these hilarious interviews with celebrities. But what she was saying is is that she signed because you're a, a celebrity. Mm -hmm. um, it's very difficult to find dates unless you date other celebrities. Mm -hmm. um, so what she said is is that she joined um, a celebrity website um, called Raya, mm -hmm. which was launched February 2015. Right, and and basically it's it, it's exclusively for celebrities so if you think you're a celebrity you have to sub submit like an application mm -hmm. and then they say yes you are a celebrity and then you can come in so it's like so instead of like you know your scruffs and your grinders and your what's the other ones the the swipey lefty righty so ones tinder, tinder those tinder kind of fish. ones Recon. just for just for the celebrities okay. um however she was disappointed because they never My even goodness. got back to her Huh? I'm just going through the ones you... All the different ones that you, you're on. Um, yeah, she said, but they wouldn't accept her. She said, they wouldn't accept me. I was fuming. And I had to wait a year for them to actually say, we're not accepting you. All right. Deleted. So now she's going to go back to Tinder. Possibly. Yeah. Possibly, maybe. Mm. So, yeah. So so she's she's out there if you, if you, if you want to date Alison Hammond. Slide into her DMs. So, yeah. And, we've, and she's been doing sort of photo shoots and stuff to promote the book. Very sexy photo of her here mm -hmm. on the top of a um, magazine, on the top of the cover of a magazine for a Vogue. weekend mag No, Vogue. it wasn't Vogue. It's called Fabulous. It said on the cover of a magazine, so it's oh, Vogue. Oh, okay. Vogue. No, it wasn't Vogue. Very Diana Ross-esque. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, Alison Hammond's always been very body positive. She has. And talks about body confidence a lot, mm. which I, I quite like. I like Alison Hammond. She's one of the few celebrities that I would, wouldn't punch in the face. And this is why we don't get invited to any celebrity <coughs> parties, Lee. Heat magazine won't allow me to be anywhere near yeah. any of them. So, yeah. So now the last bit of showbiz news, very controversial this. You know how they like to make, Hollywood like to get um, a well-loved musical mm -hmm. and turn it into a, ho a horrific film that everybody hates? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's now the turn of Wicked. Okay. That bastion of homosexuality, blah, blah, blah. That bastion of homosexuality, okay. Wicked. Every gay that's ever existed has been to see Wicked. Have you never been to see Wicked? Wicked? No? No, never oh. seen Wicked. Well... I know the soundtrack, but I've never been to see never it. To see it. I've been to see it. A bit boring. Uh, I was a little bit bored. Soundtrack's good, though. Yeah. So they have announced that Ariana Grande, she uh -huh. is going to play Glinda. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. And then actress um, Cynthia Erivo is going to be playing Elspaba. Elspaba? Alphabet. 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 Is that how you say it? Yeah. Um, well, Alphabet. Yeah. Alphabet, yeah. So, so that's going to go into production next year. They've been doing much love with each other on social media, sending each other pictures of, sending each other flowers and then set, taking photographs of the flowers and going, can't wait to be um, filming with you. Mm. Well, I love you. I love you. Are you, are you not, would, you, would it be something that you would go to, to see? No. No? No? I probably no. wouldn't. I said I know the soundtrack, so I know what happens. Yeah, um, I just like the one song. Which one? The, the, the Defying Gravity one. I like Popular. Oh, I don't know that. Um, so yeah, so they 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 that's all set to go in production. But what has happened is mm -hmm. the internet has gone into a bit of a meltdown because they're going, hang on a minute, 
every time Hollywood has announced that they're making a, a musical, James Corden gets involved. No. 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 So there has been a petition put on the online to stop James Corden having anything to do with Wicked. Um, and you can actually go and sign it. So you can go online and it's something, uh, it's something up to like 50,000 signatures to say, keep James Corden off, off Wicked. It. Yeah, we need We to don't keep, want him on there. We don't want um, him to. Because he's been in, he, he got his hands on the Cinderella that was out recently. Yeah, Into the, the Woods. Into the Woods, the prom one. Mm -hmm. No. Well, I'm, I'm still angry about him in the prom. It's not good, it's not clever and it's not funny. So yeah, so people are not having any of that. No. Um, they want him far, far away from it. I don't know who else is going to be cast in it. To be fair, I went to see it many, many, many years ago in London town. Um, <laughs> and it was okay. It was a bit, it was one of those musicals where they just sing everything. Almost operatic. Like, I'm going downstairs, isn't it nice? Well, no, you don't need to sing that. Just say I'm going downstairs. Um. <laughs> so like an opera then? Yeah. It's too much. It's never too much singing. It's too much. Anyway, that's the end of this week's showbiz news. Because it was too much. Oh, thank you for that, Lee. I still can't get his cakey womb out of my head. That's not wicked. But coming up, we've got Game of the Week. You're watching Chewy in the Cud. This week we are playing straight acting, and this one is for Lee. So, go on, cough. Rude. <clears throat> Game of the Week. All Lee needs to do is act out the card that he's got in front of him and try and get it right. Are you ready, Lee? Yes. Okay, go. Okay, the first one. Oh, you get away with me, get away from me with that sharp thing, you, Brutus. Oh, you as well. Oh, Cleopatra coming at you. Not she, she put you up to this. Oh, 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 it's, oh. How many times are you gonna stick that in me? You, oh, oh, I think, oh, you've gone right through my toga. Just be careful, just be careful of them. Is this some sort of Frankie Howard up Pompeii impression? <laughs> Mm, it's got to be very specific. Oh. Mm. Ooh. And you, Brutus, you, my friend, my old mucker, sticking it in me? I don't think so. Ooh, I'm, my life. I've got a pawn that starts like this. <laughs> no closer? Well, that's part of the pawn as well. <laughs> My life fluid seems to be leaking out all over the marble floor. <laughs> this is a pawn. <laughs> um, oh, we've been buzzed. Buzz. It is, it is Julius Caesar being stabbed. Yeah. Mm. With what, though? With what? Who can say? Okay, next one. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, the bubble are the bow. Oh, Oh. I'm gonna get you, get you and your little monkey too. Actually, that monkey's nothing to do with it. That was just that I was making that up. Um, a copper, a filthy cop. Put you. Have you got? Have you got a tissue? Uh, I'll put a horse's head on your pillow if you don't watch out, you mook. What's wrong Fancy. with you? No. No. A gangster with a cold. No. Didn't get that from that. No, surprisingly. I didn't okay. get that from that. Okay. Let's move on. Another one. Good evening. I'm here with the television update. Rocky Horror Picture Show. No. Um. That was an accidental buzz. Okay. Today, in London, we were all super duper, but in the other places of the UK, you were all very poor. Um, the Queen is amazing. Isn't she beautiful? Um, how to make 
sausages out of carrots is next up on the news today. Um, now the... Can we up your medication? <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, all the, all the vital information that people will need to live their lives after the Great War has finished, um, once the, um, once the Jerry's have been, um, you know, banished and the, um... <laughs> Do you mean the Great War? Just go war. Is it the Queen? No. It's, um, I'll give up then. It's a 1940s newsreel. That was a 1940s newsreel. Yeah, did you not? Did you not? No, surprisingly. <laughs> I was doing the, like, the BBC voice that they all like, had to have. <laughs> okay. Let's just move on. Unexpected item in the delivery. Can't say that word on TV. What? The word you're about to say after item. Unexpected item? Yeah, in the... Why? You can't say the next word. What well, the next word was the same? <phone rings> yeah, can you not say that? No. Why? Rude. <sighs> so yeah, I said worse than that. Um, I see what you've done. You've put too many toffee crisps through, you thief. I'm going to tell on you. Whoop. Is it someone stealing from the self-service checkout? <laughs> no. No. I don't think they pretty much say anything else. Apart from unexpected product in the... You still can't say that word. What is it then? Is it a self-service checkout? It's a voice of a self-serving checkout. Okay. Okay. Got one right. Okay. This is this is I'm telling you this is my number. This put it in number twenty two. I am just in your arms tonight. It must have been something. When are we going to start playing the game? Don't stop me! Don't stop me! It's, this is my tune. I walk away. When are you going to start doing the, the, the clue for the next round rather than just doing the That was it. I did it. Well, it wasn't just you singing? No. Oh. It was a specific thing. A specific thing? Yeah. Just you doing it. <laughs> do you want me to, to do it again? No. God. No. No. God, no. Is it you doing karaoke? <clears throat> I'll give you that. It's a bad karaoke singer. That's what I said. Is it you doing karaoke? Yeah. Okay. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sneak into that building, right? I'm going to fill it. That's stalking. Nope. And I'm going to fill it with explosives, right? And then what's going to happen is it's going to blow up the whole building, right? And they're going to name a day after me and put, put fireworks all over the place. But don't tell anyone, shh, it's a secret. I might not get away with it, though. But I'm going to try. Are you being the Catholic Spanish Grudo Fawkes? If that's what, if that's who Guy Fawkes was, yes, then that is him. Was he not from the East End of London? Oh. oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. You'd have to, have to try and work out what you're doing. <laughs> You're a depressed chicken. Having a <laughs> no. The noise you just made is your only fools and horses accent. <laughs> when you do the whole Marlene thing, it's the noise you've just made. You might have some nice classical music behind it if you're listening to it at home. I give up. It's whale song, Mike. What? That's not how you speak whale. Go on then. How do Hello. I am looking for his son. That's how you speak whale. Is that a, is that a whale that's got a head injury? 
No, it's, have you not seen Finding Nemo? That's how you speak well. Oh, okay. I speak well. All right then, darling. Who's going to give me 25 nickel for these uh, these apples and pears, eh? Oi, 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 oi. Uh, anyone out for your potatoes? You can't say that on TV. What? That's about my knickers. <laughs> Any ideas? You've asked about my knickers, on. I didn't sure. ask about your knickers. Yeah, have you ever offered me knickers? No? No. Do you want me to do a little bit more? Not really. Not really? But do um, it. It was an East End market. <laughs> What, what's that got to do with knickers? I didn't say knickers. It's something about I've, uh, so many. Knicker, knickers. 25 knicker. Yeah, asking for my 25. Like, cockney for money, innit? Oh. Yeah. Cockney for money. Down the old Berlin Bosch. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Down the what? Old Berlin Bosch. Down at the old Berlin Bosch. Yeah, when I was in Banra, there was uh, five of us. We all came from Manchester, right? And I wasn't hired for Mr. Ingen. I was hired because I could throw a shape and had a six pack. Mm. No, you still want me to go on? You're not so cool. <laughs> uh, uh. Are you being Jason Orange? <laughs> I am. I, I believe that I'm a member of Take That. <laughs> that was very good. Shall we have very time specific for specific there as well? well? Should we have one more? Because that's all I've got is one more. Let's let's pop another one out then. Okay. Oh, bonjour. Would you like to buy some of my onions? They are fresh from the field. I dug them up this morning. I put them on a string and I pop them around my neck. Oh, René. René. <laughs> Is that a reference? A little petit point? Come on. Do you like, do you like to put these on your... Your salon <laughs> Oh, into a soup? Come on! Buy some of my onions! <laughs> no? Come on! You know! You know what I'm saying! <laughs> With the references to onions, mm -hmm. I'm going to say you're a Frenchman. A what? Frenchman. I'm a French onion seller, Mike. Oh. Clue was in everything that I said. What? There we go. That's the end. Uh, so can I, do I have to wait for the blessed relief of death, or, or is it just the end of the, the show? No. Rene. Right, well, after this break, it's time to get... Oh, it's Crafty Queens. Oh. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we go over to Lee and what we call Crafty, Crafty Queens. So this week in Crafty Queens, it's either gonna be an absolute triumph or we're gonna die because we're going back, we're gonna try, we're gonna try and do something with hot glue again. Well. Plus water. That's encased. So we are going to make a a light okay. shade. That's gonna become a light feature out of hot gun. Out of a hot gun? Out of a hot glue gun. Okay. okay. So in front of you, perched precariously in one of our chewing the cud mugs, mm -hmm. you have a balloon that is filled with water. Uh-huh. Just ordinary water. Okay. okay. What we're going to do is that's going to be the, our kind of template, our shape, our mood. Okay. Okay. What you need to do is because obviously hot glue yeah. and plastic don't tend to work particularly very well together. Mm -hmm. So what we need to do is coat the balloon in um, um, a lubricant. Petroleum so, jelly. Petroleum jelly. So you've got a little tub of petroleum jelly. I do. Um, that actually smells really nice, doesn't it? Oh. Um, and you're just going to give your balloon <laughs> a coating. So you're not massaging it in. Okay. You're just giving it an even coating of this. Because the idea is, is that this will protect... Because we're not. this isn't going to be... We're kind of just using this as the... 
thing that's going to mold our shape. Right. Okay. Okay. So wherever there is balloon, you must smear petroleum jelly okay. onto it. And this is going to protect the balloon from the heat? Yeah. Okay. Give it a good coating. You know, not like gl completely glop it on, but it needs to be completely covered. All over. This is not fun. I'm finding it quite sensual. It's been a while for you, hasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that was a yes, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't understand what the <laughs> laughter was there. I'm just thinking to myself, if this does go horribly wrong and I get electrocuted, this is just, this is, this crap will be my final legacy to the world. <laughs> we will play this at your memorial, so <laughs> don't you worry. It'll be on You've Been Framed. And how did he, how did he pass? Well, he was well, moving up a balloon. Why was he doing that? Nobody's quite sure. <laughs> Something that came into his mind to do when he saw who did it. Now, I have seen this on the, on the YouTube. On the YouTube? On the YouTube. Okay. And it looked very effective. Uh-huh. Whether it will translate... Probably not. Probably not. You know, if history right, happens. so I think I've lubed up my my balloon pretty pretty, pretty well. I'm going to mm -hmm. just go around... Oh, no, there's a little bit there that's not... Do you use this form of lubrication yourself, Mike? Nope. No? I use water-based lubricants. Okay. Silicone-based lubricants. Because then they're condom safe. Top tip. Yep. <laughs> For when you're trying to shove a balloon up your Okay, Ooh. I'm lubed up. Let you're lubed up? You're fully lubed up? Okay, yes. I am fully lubed up. So have you have you prepared your um now we've got we've got our fingers are, now I would just rub it in Mike. Just rub it in. Then mm. sure. Uh, this is AMSR. <laughs> um okay. So right. What you're going to do is take your take your glue gun. Yep. And what you're going to do is you're going to make patterns all over the balloon. Okay. So we're going to put hot glue Onto something that's covered in lubricant. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. I'm going to put mine right in the middle, just in case it explodes and um, <laughs> the water. Yeah, right. cascades everywhere. Oh, now a little bit has dripped onto my balloon and it hasn't popped, so I'm feeling confident. Okay. Okay. So you just you don't stick the glue gun on the um, on the balloon. Right. You. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> Oh, it's burning. Um, and um, you're kind of creating, well, trying all, all to. All that's happening here is the glue is, pour, is melting the lubricant and... Um, just drip it all over. Just drip it. Yeah. Just all drip it from the doing. top. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to be one, another one of my successes. <laughs> So the idea is you're making like a nest. Okay. Like a like a um like a do with chocolates. Yeah. You might have to do that speedy up thing. Mm. <laughs> 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 I'm actually cracking on now. Are you doing okay? Yeah. Hmm. Good for you. Because I, I do this with sugar work. I think that might be the most gay thing I've ever heard you say. Well, that I can do sugar work. I do, I do this for sugar work. <laughs> oh, that's just made it. Oh, oh, God. Sexy bastard. It's going right through. If this turns out amazing, you can all suck my dick. <laughs> 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 Party. Yeah. Jackie. Party. 
something a little bit hypnotic about it, isn't it? Isn't yeah. It? Mike's not impressed. Oh. It dries very, very quickly. So that's okay. So okay. what you do now is take your take your uh, jug. Yep. Okay. And carefully mm. put your balloon inside the jug. Hmm. Oh, okay. So what we need to do is, oh, slippery hands, slippery hands, water, balloon. Oh God, you need to turn it the other way around, right? Uh -huh. And just snip the end of your balloon. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh. Just, yeah, bear with. Bear with while it empties. Yeah. <laughs> I've sprung a small leak. <sighs> it's got a bigger hole in it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> that's, that's, if you've, if you've managed to get the balloon out. I have, yeah. I just need to just, because it's, Having a bit of a. I'm not just de, de lube my fingers. Because yeah, you will be covered in, 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 in lubricant. I am, yep. Yeah. yeah. And I have provided you with a little little round battery operated light. Uh huh. Just pop your, pop your um, balloon Age. mold thing. So you want to pop it so it's facing, so that it's not that way, the other way. This but, way? Yeah. You might need to just trim it, just, just kind of nip, snip a couple of. Sort of, so you've got a little bit of a flat bit. Switch it on, and the full beauty will be revealed. Oh, look at that! Now, apparently, oh, I think that would look better. That looks better. Okay, you think that looks better? That's yeah. fine. Um, if when the lights are all down, apparently it makes all shapes on your ceiling. Not such a not such a dog's dinner after all. Hmm. It turned mine off. I did. Blocked it. <laughs> anyway, if you can't get any peen, which I'd find hard to believe after creating one of these, be a crafty queen. What do you think about that, Mike? I think mine's successful. I think if you had longer, if we had longer, no, you I... could make an entire globe. Well, that's almost the end of the show for now. Remember, you can join us on our social media at The Cud TV. Our website is thecud.tv. And of course, you can find us on YouTube or podcast. Just search for Chewing the Cud. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. That's the thing. No! Oh, you've ruined so much it. better. No! It's now a shade rather than just a thing plunked on top of it. And it's still Vaseline. -y. I know, they're all Vaseline. I know, it's fine, I think.